I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Commission Thursday. In this particular season, uh, this episode, let's be anchored in him. Because the scripture says in the book of Psalms, chapter 11, verses 3, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the ratios do? It reaches a point that your foundation matters a lot. It doesn't matter from where you are. Because everything is anchored in the foundation. Foundation always determines the stability of everything. So for your spiritual life, the foundation on which your spiritual life and discipline was laid upon matters a lot for you on the height on how far you will go on your spiritual life. The foundation on which your desire to reach out and fulfill the Great Commission matters a lot on the foundation at which uh, everything was laid upon. And that's one of the mysteries that most people don't understand. That's why we compromise a lot in our foundation. And the moment we begin to compromise in our foundation, it means that everything that has been laid in that particular foundation will have to cripple. Let's look, uh, turn within the book of John chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. And the scripture says, You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. So you look before God tells us to abide in him. The first thing he does, he says, there is a word that God has released because all of us are product of prophecies. The word that was, uh, that, that was spoken about us determined a lot about our foundation. So Christ, uh, God spoke a word for us. And upon these particular words is where our life has been laid upon. Then after understanding the mystery of that prophetic word that was released, he says, abide in me. Now using the prophetic word that was released, you use those prophetic word to lay the foundation on which, uh, the, uh, you, you use those prophetic word to lay the foundation on which you will use to fulfill the heavenly assignment. Some version that, that does not say abide in me, but says remain in me. Some version put it, uh, puts it stay in me. So the strategies and the procedures that you use to remain in Jesus Christ matters a lot. Because once you understand that G Jesus Christ is the source for every resource that we need in life, a lot of things will not bother you. But if you don't understand the foundation at which you are laid upon, it will be a challenge for you to be the salt of the earth. It will be a challenge for you to be the light of the earth. It will, be a, it will be a challenge for you to manifest the glory of God if you don't understand this particular glory, uh, th this particular foundation that we are built upon. The reason why God, uh, we were all saved and we, we were still allowed to live here on earth is because we still have an assignment. Jesus Christ fulfilled the work at the cross and he said, it is finished. But there is unfinished part of this particular conversation this particular series and this is where we come in where we partner with our uh, heaven so that we fulfill the great commission here on earth in the places we've seen hate we need to change that with love in the places that we have philosophy and ideologies that corrupt our human destiny we need to align people to the perfect will of god because we are the ext extension of god's grace god's mercy and god's glory so in this particular week Let's all rise up and challenge the status quo. Let's rise up to fulfill the heavenly assignment upon our life. Let us rise up to fulfill the glory of God that is inside each and every one of us because we were all born to manifest the glory of God. Rise up to manifest the glory of God that is locked inside of you. Be blessed.